Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of jujitsu. Let's do it. <music> jujitsu is an action comedy sci fi from director Dimitri Logothetis and VVS Films. The movie stars Alan Moosey, Frank Grillo, Rick Yoon, Marie Avgrilopoulos, Tony Ja, and Nicolas Cage. Every six years, an ancient order of jujitsu fighters joins forces to battle a vicious race of alien invaders. But when a celebrated war hero goes down in defeat, the fate of the planet and mankind hangs in the balance. So I think this movie came out in the States about a month ago. We just got it here in Canada, so I'm a little bit late to it. But it's Nick Cage, Tony Ja, and Frank Grillo using martial arts to fight aliens, so how could I not watch it? And this may be the craziest statement I've ever made in my time on YouTube, but given the premise, which bears repeating that it's Nick Cage, Tony John, and Frank Grillo using martial arts to fight aliens, somehow this movie is inexplicably boring. Of all of the adjectives that I would have thought I could use to describe this premise, ridiculous, absurd, wildly entertaining, hilarious, boring is the last word I would have thought would apply. Now again, based on the premise, did I go into this movie thinking it would probably be good? No. But did I think it would be entertaining? Absolutely. And it really just wasn't. But as per usual, let's start with the good first. The movie uses a framing device of like graphic novel panels to split the film up into separate chapters. I thought that was really cool. And while the color palette of a lot of sequences is rather bland, there are some moments that really pop with these really vivid blues and greens. I, I really dug that. And when the characters are speaking in other languages, the subtitles on the screen have a very comic book look. The font is cool and they change the color of any specific word where they really want to accent that word in the sentence, or change the inflection. I liked that. And the alien suit itself was pretty cool. Sadly, that's kind of all I've got for positives. I'm not sure how long the opening credits sequence went. It was epic music set to graphic novel panels. It looked cool, but it just went on and on. I'm guessing at least a good solid two minutes. It felt like 10. Now I should say as a caveat, I'm not really into martial arts movies. I've got nothing against them. They're just not really my jam. And I have no doubt that this movie uses a lot of homages and tropes of that genre that just went straight over my head. I will admit that. But I will say the camera work here was a huge problem for me. I'm down with handheld shaky cam sometimes. It can be very effective when used correctly and for me sparingly, but it's way too much here. The camera never stops moving. It uses a lot of POV shots where the camera mimics what the character is doing. So like if a character is being flipped, they will actually flip the camera and it happens really quickly. And I found by the end of the movie, I was actually starting to get motion sickness. And let's talk a little bit more about the POV shots. There's a fight scene with Alan Moosey and Tony Jaw fighting a bunch of bad guys, and it goes into full POV. Like I'm talking Doom video game POV. First person shooter kind of thing. And it was kind of cool at first. It was a gimmick, but it was kind of neat. And then it just got really old really fast. And then it got really confusing. Like I'm watching it, and I'm like, okay, I'm the Jake character. I know that because Tony Jaw's character is in, is in the frame. So I'm Jake looking at him. But then without an obvious cut, now I must be the other character because now I see the Jake character in frame. And then again, without an obvious cut, I'm apparently neither of them because both of them are in frame. So who the hell am I? And listen, I understand that this is essentially kind of a B movie. So I shouldn't expect too much from the dialogue, but it is pretty, pretty bad. That said, if you're going to have an elongated exposition dump sequence, probably the best way to do it is with a Nicolas Cage sword fight. I'll give them that. And this flick really is kind of the unholy union of Mortal Kombat and the Predator, except that I didn't find it entertaining in any way. Moreover, the visual effects are not good. Think PlayStation 2, although to the movie's credit, like, remastered on the PlayStation 3. I try to go into every movie hoping it will be good. I did go into this movie thinking that it would probably be bad, but hoping that it would be so bad that it's good. Unfortunately, this thing didn't work for me at all. I just didn't have any fun with it. So would I recommend it? Well, that is a loaded question. If you're into martial arts movies and you like silly B movies, you might have a lot of fun with it. I've seen a lot of people online saying they had a great time with this flick. That wasn't my experience, but that's awesome for them. I would say watch it through like the first action sequence. And if that's not doing anything for you, I kind of doubt the rest of the movie is going to change that too much. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to give jujitsu. And I think I'm going to give jujitsu a...
out of 10. Now, I wanna know, have you seen Jiu-Jitsu? What did you think about it? What is your favorite martial arts movie of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.